workshop. Got something cool, small, and compact from Nikita. This is another tool in their ninja lineup. I'm sorry, subcompact lineup. These are like ninja tools because they're so small. Uh, the cool thing about these is that their whole subcompact lineup is in black instead of teal. Really attractive tool. Anyways, besides the point, impact driver, brushless from Makita. Yes, I know, another Makita impact driver. They really try to outdo themselves. There's nobody else in the race really other than Hitachi for really kick butt impact drivers. So, anywho, focusing back, subcompact. It's an 18 volt tool in a 12 volt package. It's really small. Now, if you put it up against like the TD170, impact driver from Akita. It is a little bit longer, but it's a lot more compact and narrow. So this tool is just a little, right around five and a half inches long. It's about two and a half pounds compared to a weight. Really awesome tool, XDT15. It's a three mode impact driver. Now I don't say three speed, I say three mode, because in Akita, they always have some cool stuff. So, with their modes down here, right here on the battery, on top of the battery, I should say, you have soft, which in soft, that's going to warrant you 1,300 RPMs at 1,600 impacts per minute. If you kick that up to hard, you get 3,000 RPMs and 3,900 impacts per minute. And that's pretty cool stuff. Pretty good impact driver, runs at 1,240 inch-pounds of torque, which is right kind of the lower end of current 18 volt impact drivers. A lot of the old brush ones are right around 12, 13, 1400 inch pounds of torque. But they're a lot bigger than this. Like I said, it's really the size of the 12 volt tool in an 18 volt package. It'll run all of your LXT batteries as long as they have the start protection on it. Look for the little yellow on there and the start on the bottom of your tool. So, being Makita, they always tend to rate their tools lower. This thing is actually a really cool truck. And the coolest feature of this is their assist mode. That's the third mode. Soft, hard, and assist. What assist does, it allows you to keep your finger to press it on the trigger. When you start your screw, it starts it off with low RPM and low impacts per minute. Until the screw starts to set and the tool feels the resistance and the torque and the screw going into wood, It'll rev up them RPMs and them impacts to set that screw down to your material. Really an awesome mode. Um, their higher end impacts feature the assist mode, and they also have the tech mode, which is really the exact opposite. It's like the Milwaukee for the uh, self tapping screws. Starts off high and then kind of ramps down so you won't overstrip. So, really the opposite of that. Another cool feature you can do with this tool is you can actually turn the LED light off. It's actually two LEDs we need to put in this, two very bright ones. So it really illuminates your workspace nice. But if you ever feel the need to, to turn that off, go ahead and turn that off. So the color of their light is actually kind of a brighter white, almost into the blue category of light. Really cool tool. So I do love this impact driver. Uh, I've done a whole lot of different things with it, running all sorts of different bits. Doesn't struggle with lags too much. Once you get into larger fasteners, <clears throat> larger fasteners and deeper wood, you are going to experience a little bit of downtime um, where it starts to fight hitting into the wood. But for medium and small fasteners, this is a great tool to add. The soft compact kit is great for DIY, cabinetry, small carpentry. When you're doing smaller fasteners, um, crack digging and stuff like that, it's a great tool. So, you guys that are running bigger decking screws and stuff like that, it's probably not the tool you're going to have because you won't get the heat build up into the tool itself. Now, using an impact driver is a little bit different in how you hold than your drill. Yeah, please watch my drill video where I kind of talk about holding the tool and covering the air vents. This tool isn't as bad as the drill because you have the safety of the impact that it's not going to kick out right. But still, sometimes you tend to put your hand on top of the tool when you're drilling and driving. And you got to make sure, because of the smallness of it, that you're not covering it in that uh, ear vents up. So, other than that, it's a great tool. Uh, I only really have one major gripe with this tool is the chuck. It's not a one handed chuck. Uh, you have to pull the collar forward to 
good circuit bit. Now, it's not a make it or break it type of situation, but I do appreciate these various impacts, such as this Milwaukee here, that I can just single-handedly put the bit in the chuck. So a lot of impact drivers do have that one-handed chuck feature, which is really nice to have, especially when you get a lot of stuff in your hands, where this tool will not allow you to do that. So I would like to see Nikita improve that, because it would just make this impact a much better driver. But it's still a great tool to have. Definitely recommend getting the kit opposed to the bear tool. The bear tool will run you 119, which you get a kit with the drill, two batteries, the charger, and a pretty cool bag for 229. They have a little promotion going on right now. Uh, they, it's the same kit, but you also get a Bluetooth radio for 299, and that radio is like 149 in itself. So you're saving good money. If you look at it one way, you're getting the, you know, a free tool in there. So it's really all I got for you guys today. Really cool. Be on the lookout for a lot of the new subcompact tools from Makita. They do sport them in black in the U.S. I know overseas they have them in teal, and they're not really pushing them as hard as they're pushing them in the United States. Uh, why? I don't know. We just buy a lot of tools in the United States. We see something shiny in black. Like, ooh, let's buy it. So, click over to Acme Tools. They did provide this tool for our reviewing today. Link below. Definitely get the kit. It's the best route to go. Best bang for your buck. This is an awesome tool to have if you're doing a lot of carpentry, uh, a lot of cabinet building, stuff to that nature. Really cool tool to have. Uh, they do have a lot of grunt to them, and they are small. So that's all I got for you guys today. Follow me at Jimbo Slice Workshop on Instagram, and don't be afraid to go over to my website, thejimboslicewerkshop.com, where I feature full write-ups on tools, tool deals, and other cool stuff on there. So. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Have a good one, guys.